All right, on number 15, we are looking at projectile motion. Remember, that's just almost imagining um, an object that's being thrown into the air, reaching a maximum height, and then um, falling onto the ground. Um, so there's a few distinct points that we might look for when looking at a projectile motion question. Um, so we'll go through each of the scenarios of what you're looking for here. Um, so we have our A value in this equation is negative 15. This is already in standard form. Um, we have our B value that is 30, and we have our C value that is 45. Okay. Um, we know this is going to face down. This is a projectile motion, so everything that we kind of throw into the air will eventually reach the ground. So this is a downward facing. And we also know it's downward facing because our A value is negative. Okay. Um, so our starting height, our starting height is at a time of zero. So that's like this point right here. So we are substituting in zero for time in the equation. Um, so we're along the y-axis here. If we have a point on the y-axis, it is zero comma something. Okay, so what we can do is in our equation here, our height will equal negative 15 times 0 squared plus 30 times 0 plus 45. Now, when I plug in 0, these two initial places here will just become 0, and I'm left with 45. So our starting height is going to be 45 feet. Um, we want the time in seconds to reach the maximum height. Okay, remember that is our axis of symmetry, x equals negative b over 2a. That's this line here. This line here um, will help us kind of figure out the time in seconds that it takes. Okay, so um, let's do t equals, because we're not doing x equals, this graph is at, instead of x and y, rather it's t and h, time and height. So time in seconds to reach maximum height, let's do time is equal to negative b over 2 times a. Well, we identified b as 30 and a is negative 15. Okay, so if we simplify this, um, it would be t is negative 30, that's our numerator, and our denominator is also negative 30. When we divide these, we get 1. So time in seconds to reach the maximum height, our time is 1. That's our axis of symmetry. Okay. Now what we want to figure out is the actual maximum height for that. In order to figure out that maximum height, it's like essentially the other part to the, the coordinate. We, we know the first part of the coordinate is 1. We're looking for this other part to our coordinate. And to figure that out, we are just going to plug that into our equation. Um, so it's going to be um, the height is equal to negative 15 times 1 in parentheses squared plus 30 times the 1 plus the 45. Um, you can put this onto a calculator. I'm just gonna do it without a calculator for right now. Um, we've got one squared, that's gonna just be one times the 15, that's gonna be negative 15. Uh, 30 times one is plus 30 plus 45. I'll go ahead and keep simplifying this. If I just add the first two terms here, um, negative 15 plus 30, that's just gonna be 15 plus 45 this is going to be 60, simplify to 60, 60 feet. So I'll put 60 here. And that's our coordinate. That would be this coordinate here if you're imagining the parabola, 1 comma 60. So we actually have two points, two distinct points. Um, this was actually a point here as well, our starting height. That was 0 comma 45. So now we have two points that will help us graph this parabola. And I also added to the question there, um, to find the height after uh, two seconds. So let's do that as well. Find height at two seconds. So you might be asked for a specific period of time, finding the height for that. Um, so that would just be plugging in. Okay, well, let's figure out the height when I plug in a two. So we've got a negative 15. We're gonna plug in two, square that, plus 30 times two plus 45. Good. All right, so this is going to be um, negative 15 times 4 plus, we'll multiply this out, this is going to be 60 plus 45. We'll keep simplifying this. You can put this in a calculator. Um, negative 15 times 4 is negative 60 plus 60 plus 45. So that's going to be 0 plus 45. So the height is 45. 
So we'll actually have a point at two comma 45 as well. So we would have at least three points to graph on this parabola. So I don't have my edge. Oh, and I do have my edge elastic open. Here we go. Okay, so on the edge elastic, let's go ahead and graph this. Um, so we would graph one point at 0, 0.45. So we've got a point at 45. That's our initial height here. I don't have it. Oh, here we go. Preview mode. Uh, so we got a point at 145. But actually, the point that we want to graph first, rather, let me reset this. Sorry. Clear. Um, the point that we want to graph first when we're doing a parabola here is we actually want to uh, graph the vertex. So the vertex is at 60, 1, 60. So I'm going to graph that point first. And then I'm going to graph a point to the left of that, which is the 45. So then we've got our downward facing parabola. And then you can also just verify here that, oh, yeah, this other point 245 was also accurate. 